Hi guys, it's Aegis here. So today I'm here with another uh, Disa Deco file. And this time I will be covering the upgraded uh, Blackmire uh, Deco file. So we uh, do get some support, uh, not like a lot in uh, the DZBT04. Uh, and then the way to play the deck is actually changed a little bit with um, more generic support and also some support for himself. Uh, he himself also get a promo support so um, even though we didn't get like a whole bunch of supports but the deck itself is actually like improved in a good way um, but then to me it's still not a deck that I'm very confident to actually take it out as a tournament choice it's more related to my own playstyle because with this deck you always kind of in a smaller hand size especially when you get rushed and uh, it even though it doesn't care about the soul that much except for uh, using the vanguard skill to uh, bind for face down to actually do the full effects and to stock up your binding cards so that you can use the divine skill um, I still find myself sometimes actually running out so right and I need to be lucky to get into the pieces to link it up so that I can actually do my stuff sometimes if I get rushed so um, I personally like this deck but then I'm not very good at playing this deck um, because like everyone have things that they are good at something that they're not for example um, some people are not good at playing with the Fogger deck because of even though you draw a lot of cards but then you also throw away a lot of cards but some people like to like playing control while Vagar is not exactly a control deck it's more like a uh, kind of a rushing deck so yeah it's high feel with uh, Blackmire but it is definitely still a very good pack if you actually uh, like the playstyle, like how the game flow with this deck, then I think you, you should still be fine. With the right line, I am using the Blackmire right line for sure. Um, but somehow I am not drawing cards here from time to time. In the past, I usually can draw a card, but I just it just happened to me. So. Uh, to me, the more important part is actually for a soul charge so that I can stock up uh, enough soul to actually blast for uh, Blackmire and then lead to the Divine skill. And then immediately going to the main deck. First, uh, free more Blackmire for the personal ride and definitely to fill the soul. And your side do actually do need the support from the personal ride on the power. Um, so it's very important. And then I'm still running the Colossus to help me uh, sort of getting to uh, the number of binary cards faster in a way because the more you have the more power that you can actually gain from Black Mars so uh, you do need that and it is a good beater it's also something that can turn you into another draw so uh, I think it's still got its place but then we are starting to actually cutting this card down to like two to three copies um, instead of actually running four. And then we are going through the new card, which is uh, Fell Rock Dragon. So when this is placed on Regal Circle, other than during the battle phase, you can soul charge one, and then. Uh, if you can't last one, choose a grade two or less card with a different name uh, from this unit from a soul and call it the circle. If you have uh, a Vanguard without Black Mario and his card name at the end of the turn, put that card in uh, unit back to the soul. So, um, I think actually putting the card back into the soul can sometimes help, but uh, if you are actually calling a grade two out, you might prefer the card to stay so that you can intercept with it so depending on how your game plan is but uh, it is definitely a good card not only that it's soul charge it helps you to fill up 
the board uh, because you do a lot of blind soul charging and sometimes you will like uh, put this card into your soul and uh, say you didn't choose to bind this card to draw then you can uh, like this type of cards then you can actually uh, reuse it right but um, unfortunately he's a great free so you cannot do that uh, but um, it definitely helps you rebuild your board even calling the card from your right deck right uh, more beater is important for you to actually do enough attacks else uh, the deck itself is not that threatening so anything that can help you generate a board without using a card in your hand is great and this is definitely something that uh, is achieving this goal and then uh, for Samuk uh, for the soul charging for the draws and uh, as usual we don't spam the plus one crit and 5k we just do it when we see it fit because if you push your opponents too much damage uh, of course if it is needed then you should push for it but if you recklessly just push you will give your opponent a lot of resources to use while you are limiting yourself a chances to heal right and this deck use quite a lot of counter blasts and you actually need to give you some space for healing unless you are going for the defense skill and trying to win right there then maybe you want to push your opponents to four right but else you might just look into the right time push a bit, bit by bit and then when your opponents like somehow get into four then you start using your sun book to pass rank crit to push so that they have to guard and then uh, four of the right support uh, is still important you do need it um, and it's a good card that actually boost if you person right uh, so she has its uses especially when you don't add your blast too much sometimes except like spamming these then at least you get a defensive options and as I said this deck is not very good at having a very big hand size from my experience some people can manage a bigger hand size but not for me so I do need something that can keep rotating and keep getting me cards and this is definitely a good pick and then I'm running two of the mate for the power and soul charging the key cards back in uh, I still have quite a lot of great threes and great two so uh, the power is stable and then because I'm also running the festival collection package that I can give uh, my units boost uh, so these two can get boost and still work when they are in the back row and this will also get another 5k so uh, it is doing me great but this actually need you to soul blast one so uh, that's why we do need a lot of cards to actually help us to soul charge including the right line to make sure we contains enough um, souls for our vanguard to use the skill and then our promo support Neverworld Butcher uh, why this card is great <laughs> because it blocks intercept for the turn it lands uh, so that when you are trying to use your regards to attack because you want to do more than three attacks you're blocking your opponents from intercepting those units out before you uh, use your vanguard skill to bind them right so it's quite important and this card also uh, when boost if you have a great real higher vanguard with black mario and his card name you can choose a card from the drop and uh, add it into your soul so that you can re like reveal your souls um, to give yourself enough resources to actually use your black mario skill which is very important so this is definitely good support um, i was thinking to actually get two more copies as a four off and put it in the deck but the deck space is kind of tight right now but two is okay two to three is fine so you can test and see which one you prefer if you actually want a third copy you can actually cut one of these out but so far this ratio is doing me 
good, so I'm keeping this ratio. And then we have our Alchemist, uh, greatest boost for our Vanguard to keep the high power and also a good restander for our uh, Federal Regards. Nothing too much to say about that. Uh, and then PGs, uh, if you want to use the physical other PG, you can. Uh, again, depending on how uh, the meta is around you, if there's too many great force, then you can consider put that in. To me, I think so far, uh, keeping it basic is okay, so I'm going for that. But if you want to use a pistol, you can. Triggers. Uh, first, I'm using the water OT. It's still great uh, that I can recycle good resources and give the crit to somewhere that I prefer instead of just putting on the Vanguard. Uh, you can also consider using the fire OT if you want to. It's workable. Um, light OT is kind of workable, but then when you are assuming yourself being able to pull the OT, you do want it to be lethal. And when your defense skill and such combining all together, you actually want to pump as much damage as possible. So I think water OT is still a uh, better option. Um, but like OT is also something that you can consider if you really want to have fun with it because your opponent can't uh, use this order, they cannot use PG so they have to hard guard and the light OT is going to blow everything away um, so it's up to you uh, but if you are very worried about damage then you can also use dark OT um, but I'm going for a more aggressive play so I'm using the water OT to um, just push damage it whenever I can and then for crits I'm using 7 crits not using the sewing crit because I so far I never call triggers down uh, and even if I need to I need to be person riding so it's not stable and my grey tools can also boost with the order so uh, just basic triggers is fine but if you want to uh, have a backup plan to soul charge, then of course you can do it. But uh, I don't see the need to. And then uh, for front, for the trying to kick shield, and then for heals. Yeah. So, so far, I don't see myself using draws. And because I am going to do probably like four attacks uh, every turn, so front is definitely better when we have alchemist to actually restanding one of our regards um, but then you just need to carefully look into your turn blast to make sure you don't um, waste the chance basically yeah so the, what the main changes of the deck is definitely uh, these packages to make sure I have a higher power line on the side as well with grade twos because I will be calling a lot of grade twos um, and including this to actually call something out so uh, definitely we need the boost to make it stronger right um, so the changes to the deck is definitely here these ones and the rest are what already kind of exists in the deck just like more or less in racial right so this is definitely a good support uh, I do feel the need of having grade 2 to boost to um, just hitting a lot of different key numbers right because even just a 10k plus a 13k grade 3 assuming you actually need to play another one down for like a early aggression if you need to then at least you can still hit for 23 right and if you're actually giving this boost it get plus 5k is 28k so it's more than just a trigger um, and then blocking in this is definitely great and you can just keep recycling cards during drop zone with the mate so it helps you to soul charge a lot faster so if you press on right, use this and the mate, you already have three souls. So what you need is just another one, which hopefully is not that hard for you.
and then uh, this is a good way when you soul charge a lot to actually find what you need so that you don't simply blind soul charge and just not get anything out of it yeah so uh, I think that's it for this type of file if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments down below subscribe for more uh, deck profiles deck fights unboxing videos uh, for Hong Kong WGP Deluxe Season 3 is coming very very soon and our DZBD05 is also coming very very soon so do expect those to come unboxing videos, play videos to come and that is why I've been putting more effort back to uh, deck profiles to especially clear everything that I haven't made yet that I did make um, so that we are all prepared for the new set we are all prepared to see the new stuff and just have fun with it yeah so I think that's it for this video thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video signing off